Well, unfortunately, I'm reporting more bad news from Derby County. Chris Kirshner's attempt to buy Derby County is in danger of collapsing, despite him insisting that the takeover will happen. He was named the preferred bidder to take the club out of administration on the 6th of July. He has told the BBC that he expects a deal to be done today. Um, but Radio Derby, who obviously know a lot about this, report that funds promised by him to pay the wages for May have not arrived. Those wages are understood to have been paid by someone else close to the club. Maybe that's Mel Morris. Uh, the English League football, um, the English Football League conditionally approved the takeover when contracts for sales of the club were exchanged on the 17th of May. At the time, the EFL said that the terms of a membership agreement have been signed with the Americans 9CK Sports Holding Limited to allow the sale of the club. Obviously, Derby's administrator, uh, Quantuma, said that the takeover was conditional on the sale of Derby's Pride Park home ground, which is still owned by Mel Morris. Uh, meetings between Kirsten and his representatives, Morris, Derby City Council, are said to be exploring options to buy the ground. They've failed to resolve the issue. And as I say, it's been reported that the deal may collapse. Uh, it's obviously his second attempt to buy the club. And I really don't know what happens if the deal does collapse. He obviously made a bid in December and that was withdrawn. Then he revived his interest in April. And obviously negotiations are going on behind the scenes, probably over the debt. Who's going to take over the debt? Probably on how much you're going to pay. Uh, Mike, Mike Ashley's name Mike Ashley's name has been mentioned because uh, Sports Direct are based in Derbyshire and I think they've got a massive distribution centre where Pride Park is, so maybe that's valuable real estate for him. Um, it really plunges them into doubt again and it's a real shame. I think Rooney did an amazing job last season. He almost kept them up even though they got a huge point deduction. Just basically sold all their players um, under him and I believe I believe they've only got five first team players uh, under contract that's unbelievable it's just unbelievable that they've only got five players so you know you're talking about them being in league one it's obviously a drop off in money anyway and they're gonna have to sign 15 players maybe you need 20 players probably with 46 games um, but more pressing than those five players are the actual future of Derby County. So I pray to God that it gets resolved. But out of the fire and into the frying pan, literally it's been bad news after bad news after bad news. And we really hope that it's a happy ending. As someone that's from Berry and saw the demise of Berry, it's disgraceful. The government, the authorities have to take responsibility for this. There has to be regulation. And this situation, it should never come to this. It should never, it should never be that, you know, a club can be wiped out. There has to be safeguards in place, like things like, you know, holding money in escrow. Um, and this is just going from bad to worse. So I pray that someone saves it. But obviously a buyer like Ashley, they're bottom feeders, you know, these type of American hedge funds, whatever investment funds, they're bottom feeders. They buy things at pennies in the pound and they want these type of situations to happen so they can come and give you a pound and buy something that's worth money. So they don't really give a shit about the club. It's a reality. I hate to say it, but they don't really give a shit about the staff that will be sacked, the players, the fan base, the history of Derby County, the league wins, all this stuff. They don't care about the local community. They look at it as a purely financial transaction. And that means that you're in a pretty perilous situation. Let's pray and hope it turns out okay.